This video covers the basic concept of quicksort. Quicksort can be said to be uh, the reverse of merge sort. Remember that in merge sort, we began with lots of little items as individual lists and combine them into uh, larger sorted lists and combine those into larger sorted lists until eventually we had one large sorted list that contained everything. In quicksort, we're going to do the reverse. We're going to start with a list and break it into pieces, and as we break it into pieces, uh, we'll see that those pieces are sorted with respect to each other, and therefore when we get down to pieces that are individual numbers um, or individual items, the list will be sorted. So, here's the list we're going to use. So in quicksort, the way that we break down this list into smaller lists um, is by picking a pivot number, and then we will uh, look to see what uh, values are less than or greater than the pivot. So we're going to pick 4 as the pivot. Um, we could pick any number. Uh, turns out most quicksort implementations, or many quicksort, common quicksort implementations, pick the last number. So, we're going to write 4 down here in the middle, because we're going to put values that are less than 4 over here and values that are greater than 4 over here. Okay, let's scan through the uh, list and see what we have. 9 is greater than 4, so we're going to put it after the 4. 5 is greater than 4, so we're also going to put it after the uh, 4, and it'll be after the 9, because the 9's already there. Uh, 2 is less than 4, so we're going to put 2 in front of the 4. 6 is greater than 4, so we're going to put it here a list of things that are greater than 4. 3 is less than 4, so we're going to put it here in the list of things that are less than 4. So now we have our pivot, we have values that are less than our pivot, and values that are greater than our pivot. So this list is less than this, and this list is greater than this. So we've got three pieces that are sorted with respect to each other, but not internally. Now what we're going to do is uh, sort uh, these two lists using quicksort. So again, we're going to pick the rightmost number as the pivot. Uh, so for the list of 3, 2, the rightmost number is 2. And so we're going to write that down here. I'm going to underline it to show that it was the pivot. Um, and then uh, we have one number to put uh, on either side of it, and that's 3. 3 is greater than 2, so we put it on the right side of it. Now we copy down our 4, because we know that everything over here was less than 4, everything over here is greater than 4, so that's where 4 will go. Uh, in our final sorted list whenever we eventually have it. Okay, now over here we have the list 9, 5, and 6. And again, we're going to pick the rightmost item as the pivot per a convention. And um, so 6 is going to be our pivot. So we're going to write 6 down here. We're going to underline it showing that it was uh, the pivot last time. And um, we're showing that it had been chosen as the pivot. And 9 is greater than 6, so we're going to put, it, put the 9 after the 6 and then 5 is less than 6, so we're going to put the 5 before the 6. Okay, so here we had a uh, list that was less than 4, a list that was greater than 4, and then 4 goes here. Now we have uh, this number, uh, the number that's greater than this number. We have this number, which is greater than these two numbers, but less than these numbers. We have this number, which is, uh, who this number is less than it, but greater than this one. This number is greater than this number. Our list is now sorted. So, with quicksort, we break down our list into two pieces by choosing an element uh, to uh, partition the list. We partition into things less than that element and things greater than that element, and we keep doing that until our eventual uh, results are of size a single element, in which case each of the elements forms a sorted list. And we know that the lists are, the, the lists are in the right place with respect to each other uh, because we maintained that as we went down. So, this sorts this list by recursively doing the quicksort partition operation breaking the list into pieces that are less than or greater than a given value. And that
that is the essence of quicksort.